I'm David Ruprecht and I'm postdoc researcher at the Ruhr University Bochum and focusing on mobile network security for five years now. So that was early 2018, so I think in the beginning of the CVD program. And back then we basically had a paper um, which has a lot of impact like vulnerability in the LTE specification. And I wanted to do a responsible disclosure and basically find a forum to discuss it with the industry. And one of uh, one person of the Deutsche Telekom pointed me to the G GSMA CBD program. And that's how the first submission was basically done. Um, and yes. The experience with the CVD program is very good. So right now the CVD program has a very defined process, which is very good because we always know in which state our submission currently is and which parties are involved in the disclosing process. For example, if a vendor has a vulnerability, I know exactly when um, the vendor comes into the process and basically, um, um, yeah, knowing each step. There are main, mainly two reasons um, for submitting to the CVD program. First of all, you get really good feedback to your work. Um, for example, very detailed feedback on um, the specification flaws you find, and you are actually in contact with the person who was responsible for this part in the specification. And so you get very detailed feedback and use this feedback in the research. On the other side, you get really high level feedback. For example, how relevant is this part of the specification? How often is it used or this particular feature in, in the real world? So you get really good feedback. On the other side, um, the CVD program also helps you to um, or take, take off your work um, in coordinating the disclosure with many parties. Um, so, for example, when you find a vulnerability um, in the network, in a real network, and you consider that you have 700, over 700 operators in the real world, um, you need to disclose this vulnerability to all of them. And the CVD program gives you the chance of disclosing it to one party, which takes care of disclosing to all operators or when vendors. For a long time, I saw the telco industry is very closed up regarding security vulnerabilities. However, this has changed a lot over the last decade. And the CVD program is one effect of opening up towards research and vulnerability disclosure. So in the sense, I see really that the telco industry open up to a state-of-the-art disclosure process and dealing with vulnerabilities in the industry. On the one hand, it is required to do a responsible disclosure with found vulnerability in the academic research community. On the other hand, the feedback which we received through the GSMA CVD program helped us increasing um, the real work impact, for example, by estimating how many devices are affected or um, also using the detailed feedback from the experts of the CVD program um, and getting more insight, which we can then use into our academic research paper. The last submission to the GSMA CVD program required a lot of coordination regarding responsible disclosure um, because many parties were involved. So we found a vulnerability in the baseband and those vulnerabilities needed to be patched. And so basically this requires the coordination of baseband vendors providing the patch, OEMs which manufacture the phones to use it, um, the patch in their software update and even operating system vendors like Google or um, 
Apple needed to be very involved in this process. And having submitted our research paper to the GSMA CBD program, basically took off all this work of coordination with those parties and the GSMA CBD program or and program manager was responsible of doing coordination. In this way, we basically are able to increase the real world impact for all users through the GSMA CBD program. The GSMA CBD program gives academics the chance of getting valuable feedback from experts from the industry, either on a very detailed level or on a high level. This will improve the research by itself and also the coordination with the industry um, improves the outcome of the research. Mm -hmm.